Hi viewers, you are welcome to Bless Biafra Network. I say please press the bell icon so that you will be notified and at the same time the red subscribe button is very important. Viewers, very important. Now if they've done that, let's go straight to the news while we're here today. The headline says, how many graveyards did the church want? Our Christian brethren from Middlebet and my good friend Michael and the lying lifeless. Every day we are praying for an unworkable and impracticable Nigeria in distress. Some people are busy building churches, expanding their tie centers. Others are building unaffordable schools and buying private jets. We read our Bibles, which we read our Bibles every day, fasting even in scarcity of food, invoking the God of Israel in a mockery way as if he is not a living God or doesn't answer prayers. Over there in the land of Israel, their God supplies them with his walls and sophisticated weapons, zero tolerance to their perceived enemies to death. The store and break camp of Israel has never been shut down, not even for a day. Their God is always there in the time of physical battle. How many graveyards did the church want? Come down to Africa, impracticable Nigeria in particular. Every day, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. The church churches are named from letter A to Z. Fair prophecies everywhere. Predictions and organizing of miracles, just like Adeboya and the rest of them. Declaration of 21 days fasting against your enemies. Selling of anointed oil, water etc. Importance of sowing of seeds, first, second, and third collection every Sunday. Life is for project where the poor will never benefit from after its completion. How many graves did the church want? We have missed the track. Our preachers have deceived us all. There is no more prophet in the land. The Flani terrorists have taken away the hours of covenant. We are doomed. The glory of the Lord has departed from the land. We are, are the warriors of Yahoo. We are the warriors of Yahweh and the warriors of Israel. We are at the night of Catholic Anglican Church ETC. For how long shall we continue to sing hymn of death to our dead beloved ones? When with the enemies fee and equal proportional pains they inflicted on others, for how long shall we continue to read press release from all angles? How many graveyards did the church want? When shall the covenant boss return to us who will lead this battle to restore our feet? When shall we wake up from the slumber? When will our Sacredose. When will our sacerdotes review unto us the power of power, power of Peter's sword? Sorry, guys. When will our sacredotes review unto us the power of Peter's sword? Who will answer this duty call in our Christendom? Where is the strength of Saint Peter Basiliska? Where are the sword of the disciples? Where the where is the conscience of the world? Where is AU, UN, EU, GIC, G1, C, G20? Where are the defendants of Christianity? Why are they preaching rubbish unto the shields of Christ? How many graveyards did the church want? I find no meaning in my faith anymore. 
Imagine how my good friend Michael Namde was killed watching the video of execution of a chairman Christian Association of Nigeria, Adamawa chapter. Watching how my brethren in Christ are being slaughtered seeing the church on a sative, insouciant and phlegmatic as again how many graveyards did the church want? Gentlemen, ladies, viewers, this was written by Paul Emereni. Paul Emerenini. Emerenini for Family Writers Press International. Thank you so much, guys, ladies and gentlemen, viewers. Please put your comment in the comment section and stay blessed. Share this news, it's very important, like I always say. Share it's very important and have to continue sharing until we share Nigerian government life out of their body. Because they have finished their key laws in numbers and we will continue sharing this news on to share the devil, the evil, the Nigerian government who are busy tormenting the innocent people will share their life out of Nigeria. Thank you so much and may God bless you all. Thank you.